afternoon. Welcome back. This is our very special Reflect, Repent, Renew service. A moment in this day of Yom Kippur, this day of atonement and self-reflection, for you to feel the music, hear the poetry, and really turn inward and connect with your own soul. In so doing, we hope that you will connect with your God and that together all of our prayers will rise heavenward and that we will truly be able to reflect, look back, to repent, atone for our wrongs, and to renew as we enter 5781. I am Rabbi Susie Hennison Moskowitz, joined by Rabbi Rachel Wiesenberg, Cantor Serene Applebaum, Vincent Locasano, Jody Siegel will be joining us for the music. And from Sweden, we're so thrilled that Dr. Kristen Starkey and Daniel Beckman will be joining us on several of the pieces as well. Please sit back and enjoy. Reflect, repent, renew. Una Tana Tokath. We now confront the meaning of this day as we stare into the face of our own mortality. We form a circle. Hands and souls linked, we stand as community. Together, we contemplate the yomim noraim, the days of awe, the days of trembling. Our eyes scan the room and lock with the eyes of others as we consider the year just begun. As we cross the threshold of a new year, we are not so foolish as to think it will be a year unblemished by tears. Give us the strength to stand as a circle when the year is touched by anguish and pain. When injustice, illness, and death enter the circle, give us the compassion not to avert our gaze. Only you know what the year will bring. Who will live? And who will die? Who will face cancer or depression or the other maladies of flesh and soul? Job loss, addiction, infertility, heartbreak. Temptations to stray from vows to family and community. Impoverishment, earthquake, hurricanes, acts of terror. We are vulnerable creatures subject to your grace. We do not ask to be exempt from the afflictions of being human. We only ask that you be with us in the peaks and in the valleys, that you help us to stand with each other in good times and in bad, and that the circle of witness and consolation remains unbroken in the coming year. Amen. attributed to Rabbi Elazar of Worms, 11th century. Be careful to visit the sick, for sympathy lightens pain. Comfort the bereaved and speak tenderly to them. 
Treat the poor with respect and give to them anonymously. Kindle a light. Do not leave it to others who come after you, lest they be unable to kindle it, and it be left unlit forever. Do not turn a deaf ear to those who seek your help. Never storm into your house or cause those who live with you to be afraid of you. Rid your soul of anger, for anger lodges in the bosom of fools. Never fail to greet a fellow human being. Always speak the truth. Rabbi Nachman of Braslav taught, always look for the good in yourself. And remember, joy is not incidental in your spiritual quest. It is vital. For so it is written in Isaiah 55, 12, you will go out through joy and be led forth in peace. Focus on the good in yourself. Take joy in what is good and you will be led forth from inner darkness. It is hard work for us humans to strive to be holy all the time. So our tradition reminds us that God has sent us angels to help us, to support us in our efforts. We have to do the work, but the angels will help us reach higher levels. And we take these next few minutes for silent prayers and silent reflection. We let the music carry us. And I hope that you will just sit quietly in your place, open up your heart to feel what it wants to feel, 
Open up your mind to receive. Open up your feelings to connect to those around you. So we sit quietly and we pray silently. must be true. We acknowledge our faults and our failings. Help us now to strengthen the good impulse within us. Help us to care about wrongs from which we have been spared, to seek forgiveness for the wrongs we shall do, to forgive the wrongs that are done to us. Create in us a clean heart and place a willing spirit within us. Shed your light upon us, O God, that we may see goodness in each of your children. When Miriam was sick, when Miriam was sick, her brother prayed, Alna, Rafanala, O God, heal her, please. We pray for those who are now ill. Source of life, we pray. Source of life, heal us. 
We pray for those who are affected by illness, anguish, and pain. Grant courage to those whose bodies, holy proof of your creative goodness, are violated by illness and pain. Source of life, encourage us. Grant strength and compassion to the families and friends who give their loving care and support and help them to overcome despair. Source of life, strengthen us. Grant wisdom to those who probe the deepest complexities of your world as they labor in the search for treatment and cures. Source of life, inspire us. Grant clarity of vision and strength of purpose to the leaders of our institutions and our government. May they be moved to act with justice and compassion and find the courage to overcome fear and hatred. Source of life, guide us. Grant insight to us that we may understand that whenever death comes, we must accept it, but that before it comes, we must resist it by making our life worthy as long as it is lived. Source of life, bless and heal us all. Amen. appreciating the ways the body can move, grow, eat, recover, jump, run, and spin around. From the stillness, from being able to just sit and breathe. I got to, let's start this whole thing again because I messed up twice. Okay, take two. From where does my healing come? From the quiet, 
from sitting and listening, listening to the still, small voice, the one you need to turn into your heart to hear. From the music, from the soothing way the words and melodies and rhythms merge to enter the soul, opening up the heart. From the movement, from appreciating the amazing ways the body can move, grow, eat, recover, jump, run, and spin around. From the stillness, from being able to stop moving and just sit and breathe, just sit and breathe. From the love, from friends, teachers, doctors, nurses, companions, students, family. From you who offer a, a word, a hug, a song, a dance, a story, from you. And from you, O oh holy source of blessing, from gratitude you inspire the love and faith you share. From knowing that you are always there, even when I'm not looking for you. We take these moments now to think of those who are in need of healing, who we want to send our Misha Bayrak, our healing prayers. Who do we want to send them to? Hold them in your mind's eye, hold them in your heart, the people that you pray for all the time, the people that are a little further away who maybe when they appear in Facebook or a note pops up in your email, you think of them. Send your healing prayers out to those you don't even know, to those who are suffering in this world. And remember to take some of this healing energy that we create together and let it enter your soul and bring healing to you on this day. Misha Bayrach. Misha Bayrach, Amen va amen a refuash lema, a complete and speedy healing. What if 2020 isn't canceled? What if 2020 is the year we've been waiting for? A year so uncomfortable, so painful, so scary, so raw that it finally forces us to grow. A year that screams so loud, finally awakening us from our ignorant slumber. A year we finally accept the need for change, declare change, work for change, become the change. A year we finally band together 
instead of pushing each other apart. 2020 isn't canceled, but rather the most important year of them all. We conclude with Re Return Hashi Venu, a favorite here at Temple Beth Torah. We hope you have found this service a gateway to your heart, a gateway to your deepest longings and prayers, and that you'll return at 6 o'clock for our Ni'ila service. We are so glad that you have joined us on this day and hope that you will continue to be part of our Temple Beth Torah family and join us throughout the year for our wonderful programming. Gamar Hatima Tova, and now we return Hashivenu.